Hello friends, welcome to Textradi Cell. In this video, we will control multiple relays using the Matter protocol. In one of my previous video, I have already explained using Matter, you can connect the ESP32 with different IoT platform like Alexa, Google Home, Apple Home Kit, etc. You just need a hub for that particular IoT platform. Say for Alexa, you need Eco device. For Google Home, you need Google Nest Mini like that and here we will use ESP0 code to upload the firmware. The process is so simple, you don't need any coding skill, you just have to upload the firmware, then scan the matter QR code to connect the ESP32 with that IoT platform. Here I will control these four lamps, only the Eco dot and ESP32 must be connected with the same Wi-Fi network. My mobile is connected with a different network but still I can control the appliances from the Amazon Alexa app. Alexa. Turn off room light. Mm -hmm. Alexa. Turn off outdoor light. Mm -hmm. And I can also able to control the appliances from the push button. And I can also see the real time feedback. Let me turn on the room light from the push button. And you can monitor the real time feedback here. So this is a very useful project and after watching the video anyone can make it so without any further delay let's get started. This video is sponsored by Altium which is a world class PCB designer software trusted by the most of the big electronic companies. The user interface is so simple you can easily design any complex PCBs in Altium. Now Altium came up with an amazing product called Altium 365. Altium 365 is an electronic product design platform that unites PCB design, MCAT, data management and teamwork. With Altium 365, you can not only design PCBs but you can also share your projects to your teammates for review. It also provides automatic backup, centralized cloud storage and a lot more. And along with all these, they do have a very useful search engine just for electronic components called as Octopart. Using Octopart, you can search for any electronic components, compare the price and availability around the globe. Apart from that, you can also check the datasheet. Altium provides everything to make your production task a lot easier. And now you can download the free trial version of the Altium PCB Designer software from the description and use all these services in your next PCB design. To make this project, you just need an ESP32, relay module and some push buttons. Then connect all these components as per this circuit diagram. Although the circuit is very simple, you can easily make it without using any PCB but just to make the circuit compact, I have designed this PCB for this project and here I have connected the external push buttons. Now I will connect the ESP32 with laptop for uploading the firmware. First let me go to ESP0 code platform. You can find the link in the description. Then create an account. I already have an account so let me log into this platform. You can see your previous product under your product but here we will create a new product so let me click on create new product then give a name say smart relay then click on start you can give any other name then here you can see different type of products you have to select the product according to your requirement for this project first let me select the gpio under driver then i will select the plug then click on next step then you have to select the series for the ESP32 that you are going to use. Here I will use do it ESP32 dev kit. So let me select the ESP32 series. Then select ESP32 warm 32E. Then click on next step. Now you have to configure the GPIOs for buttons and relays. And here we are going to control multiple relays. So let me select text mode. Here we have to modify this JSON file according to the circuit. In the circuit, here you can see the first relay is connected with the GPIO 23 and the first button is connected with the GPIO 13. Now in the JSON file under the driver, this is the block for the button, here you can see driver button and this is the block for the relay, you can see driver relay. So first let me enter the GPIO for the first button which is 13. Here I am selecting active level 0 as whenever the button connected with the ground it changes the state of the relay. Then for the relay let me enter the GPIO 23 and again here I am using active low relay so again active level is 0. 
and for each block you will get unique id for the first button the id is thousand for the first relay id is thousand one now let me copy these two block then i will paste it here then first we will change the id for the second relay and second button for the second button the id will be thousand two and for second relay id will be thousand three this id should be unique then in the circuit you can see the second button is connected with the gpio 12 and second relay is connected with the gpio 19 so i will just enter the gpio for the second button then enter the gpio for the second relay you can download the complete json file from the video description now i will configure this block which is for the indicator led here i will enter 1008 then i will enter the gpio 2 then in the product common i have to update the id for the indicator led 2008 then i will scroll down and go to product then under product we have to pair the relay with button let me delete this indicator led here you can see in first pair input is thousand and output is thousand one the id for the first button is thousand and id for the first relay is thousand one accordingly we have to pair the second third and fourth relay so we have configured this complete json file according to this circuit you can download it from the video description and if you want you can also modify it according to your circuit you can also take help from the product documentation just click on the button and you will get the details documentation here after that click on save and validate after validate click on next step then select evaluate now esp32 launchpad now it will create the firmware for you then click on connect your device select the com port as esp32 is already connected and click on connect and here you can see the firmware is uploading to esp32 now you just have to scan this matter qr code to add the esp32 with different iot platform here you can see the indicator led is blinking and as a hub i am going to use this eco dot to connect the esp32 with amazon alexa so let me open the amazon alexa app and also let me turn on the bluetooth and location on the mobile now i will go to device then tap on this plus icon select add device then tap on light scroll down select other then select matter tap on yes again tap on yes now i have to scan the qr code and you can see all the update here as the esp32 is connected with the laptop now i have to enter the wi-fi details let me select the wi-fi name the eco dot and the esp32 must be connected with the same wi-fi network so i am selecting the wi-fi name then tap on next you may also have to give the wi-fi password if it asks now it's showing text cell device and four components device found and connected let me tap on next so these are the device let me skip the step go to device directly and here you can see these are the device so first let me change the name for the first plug let me tap on the device then go to setting tap on edit name i am giving room light you can give any other name now it's showing room light for the first device accordingly you can change the name for other device like second plug third plug now first let me try to control the relay from the amazon alexa app and here you can see the first relay turns on let me tap it here the relay turns off alexa turn on room light okay and for this project only the eco dot and the esp32 must be connected with the same wi-fi network but you can connect the mobile from different network so let me turn on the mobile data turn off the wi-fi so my mobile is connected with a different network but still i can able to control the relay from the amazon alexa app so you can control the relay from anywhere in the world using the amazon alexa app only the eco dot and esp32 must be connected with the same wi-fi network so this is a very useful project and you can scan this qr code to connect any other iot platform with esp32 so if you find this video helpful then please hit the like button and share it with your friends don't forget to subscribe for more such videos thank you for watching have a great day